Alright boys, we got the red Zuma running. Hit that like button right now, let's get some Zuma action going, baby. Nobody pray for me. It's been a day for me. Yeah, yeah. Alright boys, it's time to finally get to work on the 1990 Zuma Riva Yamaha BWS Booster Zuma because everybody every time I film a video on the Zumas has to comment that it's called a booster or it's called a BWS but here in America boys let me tell you this thing is most certainly called the Zuma. You can call this thing a fried pickle for all I care. All I know is that this thing's a two-stroke scooter that's clean as hell and it's fun to ride. That's simple. I picked this thing up a few months ago. Haven't really touched it since. 350 original miles on it. It's titled. Thing's super mint. Still has like all the restrictors and stuff. Uh, needs a new seat cover obviously because it's sat in the sun. Shout out to Vegas Sun for that. Thing's super mint and my plans are to just clean this thing up super good get all this out really make it shine put a new seat cover on it and probably just sell this thing or sit on it for a while until these scooters even become more wanted because if you know you know these two stroke scooters are getting harder to find first things first it doesn't have a carburetor on it so what i'm gonna do today is steal this carburetor off this blue one and the airbox since i'm going to be doing the build on this blue one very very soon get on there get this thing running with the stock carb stock airbox and uh, keep her cherry just like that. So that's the plan today. Hopefully we can hear this thing run. I also got a brand new petcock for it. Last time the petcock was pretty much a free flow. It didn't have like the intake needing to uh, let the fuel come through. So it was like free flowing. All right, got the carb off the blue bike. Carb over there, gonna put the carb in the airbox on here. Also got the new petcock on this tank. Brand new petcock piece. All right, carbs on there, airbox on there. Um, gonna put some fresh gas in and see if this thing will start or not. All right, boys, it's the next day. We got the Zuma out here. Letting it just get all warmed up. Seems pretty happy. So uh, right now I got it with the airbox on. It didn't like having the airbox on at first. Um, I had to tune into the airbox, but it was actually almost going better without the airbox, which is really weird to me because usually any stock four, stock car bike doesn't like not having an airbox. So uh, it's pretty interesting, but this thing's running probably the best I've ever felt the 50cc. I'm excited to pull it out right now. It sounds completely different than my blue one over here. My blue one sounds so weak, and uh, that made me realize that something's probably for sure wrong with this blue one because that thing right there is like a cherry. So. <laughs> wow. I think a Zuma is the easiest bike I've ever done a wheelie on. Look how balanced it is. Oh, almost 
took out the trash can. That right there just really opened my eyes up about the Zuma. Um, this thing is a better wheelie bike than the 50cc Elite Field stock. This thing feels really good. When I rode this bike, something was for sure wrong with it because it felt nothing like that. And they're the same exact motor. So this one felt terrible. I imagine it probably has um, a crank seal leak down there. And that's why it was so hard to start. It doesn't like to run and everything. Because this thing right here was running super cherry. I don't know if I'm going to sell it now. And I might just keep this thing as like a super clean stock 50 wheelie bike for the neighborhood. Because I wanted to keep this one as the wheelie bike for the neighborhood. But I already have a 72 kit and I want the Elite to have a 72. So I'm going to be riding with all the boys who got the 72s, like Chuck and Cole. So I'm going to go ahead and put this Zuma back together, put the taillight back on, put the fairings back on. Someone asked me about this on a video one time about getting stripped Phillips heads off of here because I did it in a weird way in the video. So I'm just going to explain it, even though I just cracked these loose. But I was thinking about it and I was like, damn, I got to show, show the boys. So when you get these Phillips heads, they're like this. And they're huge and they just want to strip. Just like that. What I do is I find a screwdriver, depending on the screw, that's not so sharp. So I have one that's like shaved off right there at the tip. Put a vice grip on the screwdriver. Put the screwdriver to the head. Now you can't just pry on it because it's going to walk itself out and try to strip. So you grab a hammer on this. A hammer. And while you slowly turn, like barely turn, just put pressure on it. Hit it with the hammer and eventually it'll crack loose. You're also like vibrating the threads out. So now I'm gonna pull this oil pump out this thing because it looks like the oil pump's in there because it's this little oil line. So, and then put everything back on. All right, pretty much had to take the whole bike part to be able to pull the oil pump out because the fender was in the way and I couldn't get this fan shroud on without taking the fender off and the fender has everything connected to it. But I got this oil pump out. But man, this thing is gunked up. But oil pump bye bye. If you look in here, look how gunked up it is in there, dude. So bad down there. Holy moly. Alright, just went in there and cleaned out everything the best I could. Let me see. Looks way better. You can actually see the bottom, but uh, now I'm about to put everything back together. Alright, just all back together. We're on a super cherry. Back on right now in the rack. Get all that situated. Yes, sir. All right, this thing doesn't like to start right now, but once it's warmed up, the thing runs cherry. But I think it's still this carburetor because this is the carburetor that I was having issues with on the other bike, like I said. But that's what I gotta do to get it to start. So it won't start. Choke on. Air box. Won't start. Choke off. I gotta literally take the air box off. Hand choke it until I feel it get wet in the car. It's wet. All right, boys, I think that's gonna do it for the Zuma. We got the Zuma running. It is a pain in the ass to start right now, 
but I want to get a better carb for this thing and then leave everything probably as is. Maybe a pipe, but I kind of want to keep this the 50 quiet bike just for the neighborhood wheelies, like I said. So make sure you guys leave a thumbs up on this video and check out the Mop Boys Instagram account because I've been posting a bunch of stuff on there if you want to see more wheelies and edits and stuff like that um, with the scooters and other things. So that's going to do it for this one. I'll see you guys on the next one.